My wife's a bit clear now. Joined us on the Pelts Game Show. And, Coach, I don't think uh, you could have drawn about any better than the one player that has been on the floor for you for four years, Roger Swalmont, to get that trip in and in front of uh, over 1,800 of the field house in a senior day uh, win. I was so proud of her and so happy for her because you're exactly right. If anybody in the huddle when we're talking about it, if we miss the layup, we, we might have to tip the offensive rebound. And Ross just went up and got it. And, uh, I, I can't really envision how many people were there, but I know that she was, and, and she would be nowhere else than exactly where we told her to be when the shot went out. She took it up, buzzer went off, it bounced around, and it just kind of sat on the rim. How long was that? It was probably nearly a half second as it hung on the rim, but how long did it seem that ball hung on the front of the rim? I thought it was coming out, quite honestly. I, I thought, oh, we're going to overtime, but um, luckily it had just a, enough English on it to, to go in, but it really fitting finish for uh, Ron Kisman like and just having a, a great senior day game. I thought she played great. I thought Jasmine Lee was absolutely outstanding today in a tough place in the paint where she couldn't really get a shot up cleanly. Got fouled a bunch, but did a bunch of free throws. Uh, I think that really the, the series of games that last defensive stand down there, uh, I know you're trying to get a complete stop. Uh, I said on the radio, if, you, if you're going to let him shoot it, don't let him shoot it outside the yard. This is a team call for 27% on the year. It's tempting out of 12 or more than three points shooting, but coming today, he had 45 and a half percent, 10 of 22. I just didn't want to see him get a three off. That's exactly right. And, and we had talked about switching in the guard to guard screens, and we were actually going over the top of our screens with the strong post edge. We hadn't done that the whole game. But we just didn't want, it, want them to get loose. We wanted them to be able to put the ball on the floor, and if, and if they scored in the paint, then then so be it. But we certainly didn't want to put ourselves in a position where we had to hit a three to, to tie it and go into overtime. Game of 1,844, a big thrill here today. Oh, I know it's great if you have a blowout win on senior day, but, but what a thrill uh, this afternoon. The crowd got explained. Well, it's also, you know, we talked about them coming in the top and the winning at Tulane the other day. You got a six-point lead. That was your biggest of the game a couple times in the second half. They weren't, like, they weren't going to like to run away with it. No, and I thought they played very well. They played very hard. And we had a hard time keeping the guards in front of us, and we gave up a significant number of, of offensive rebounds, even though that got, that got better later in the game. I thought Nicole Dixon did a, a really nice job later in the game of secure, securing the rebounds. And also, she got a couple of tough shots up on, on a late timeout, on a late shot clock. But Tulsa was very motivated. Um, they were working for that number four seed. They knew that if they could do that, they would move up in terms of the tiebreaker system and, and better their chances. But um, I'm, I'm really proud of our kids. I mean, we played without Brittany nearly the entire game. And I thought Danae came in and did some good things. Lauren did some good things. But at the end of the day, it was our seniors night. Uh, quickly, uh, I'm going to talk about the seniors here in a second. But quickly, just touch on why it's a team that, uh, that I thought was going to make a big job. I think they've had some injuries this year. But they're gonna, they, those teams will be dangerous late in the season and turn it time. We're going to get them to wrap up the regular season Thursday. Well, and, and we've talked with that about our team. It, the last three games, we talked about how the UAB game was really like our quarterfinal yeah. in the conference CSA tournament. Tonight was our semi. Um, and our game against Rice is going to be our final because that's what it's going to be. Everyone is fighting for tournament seeding and tournament life. Um, Tester was hurt early in the season. She missed a significant number of games. They've got her back now. I think they're beginning to gel and learn how to play together. They, they had significant graduation losses last year, so I think it's taken them a little bit of time. But they'll be no less dangerous than Tulsa was because they're playing for the same thing. They're playing for a top four seed. All right, folks, that'll be uh, Thursday night down in uh, Houston against Bryce at Tudor Fieldhouse. Uh, just kind of real quickly, uh, your thoughts. Uh, you don't want to get emotions stirred up, but the five <laughs> seniors here, and again, you can touch on AQ. They're the only player that's played all four years. Brittany's been here four years now. The first year when she transferred from Georgia, the other three very important to you as well. Well, Keanu James and Danae Collier, I'll start with them first, came to us when we needed to really solidify our depth, and I think they've done that. Both in practice and in games, and I think Danae's having a really good senior season. Um, Brittany Carter, of course, is, is the highlight film and the player that we rely on to hit tough shots. She's become a much better defender. But b- between Brittany and Ramses, I think they're what our program stands for, and Ramses in particular. Um, she may not have had a lot, lot of other options when she chose Memphis, but, but she has adopted Memphis, and she wears that jersey incredibly proudly. And we, we simply can't be who we are without those two players. And we talk about 20 wins, just now the third year in a row. That's, that's Brittany and that's Ramses. And Jasmine Lee has had a great senior year this year. 
Jasmine Lee has probably grown as much as any player I have ever played from the time she stepped foot on this campus, the first day with us, to the player that you saw today. She's probably made more strides than any player I've ever coached just in terms of her game and, and her um, even keelness, so to speak. But uh, the day, honestly, Brittany and Rompers, those are the players that got us started from day one, that believed in the University of Memphis, that believed to this day in what we're doing, and they're still making plays, and they're going to make plays the rest of the year. And I like to go with the remarks you've made about Ron Rogers since he got here. The very first year, you made it on your coach's show the other day. If you had to start again from scratch, that's the player you'd start with. He's been the motor of all the great things the other players have done. He uh, came in the first time I saw a practice, and they like this great. He's working hard as a freshman. But, then, you know, they'll be in and out of practice. Practice is the same as a game for her. Uh, that's the motor of the team. I promise you, there are no – Ron Chris has won more hearts in this building than any other the player on our team because effort and energy are things that every player can give, but not all players are willing to give the amount that Ron Chris does. And – and I, I do, I've said that many times, that any time you start a program, you want to start with a player like Ron Fisher, and uh, we've got to find a new one for next year. I think we've got one. But uh, those players set the tone and set the intensity for everything that you do. And Ron Fisher Mike is a winner from the opening tip to the end of the game, and it doesn't matter what's going on. He's going to be there for a team. And finally, you talk about changing the culture of the program when they came in to where it is now. Uh, three 21 seasons, to be three postseason appearances in a row, and it is a night and day. It, it, it is, and, and there, there are five seniors, but there are more players. You know, Nicole Dixon came on board shortly after that as well. Um, just got so many players to give credit to for, for what has happened. But I must say this, we're not done yet. Right. You know, we are not done yet. And I may, I may bring this up Tuesday in practice. players will get the day off tomorrow. But I will come with, we still haven't done anything yet. And we've still got to finish this deal. And... Um, I'm going to trust that our seniors are going to make that happen. All right. Thanks a lot. So it's a lot to go. You've got a lot of things to wait for. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff.